Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my pre-release experience as well as a antiquated software program that Wizards of the Coast is still using for pairings, standings, and report for the WPN. Now, my pre-release went pretty good. I did pull a Liliana and that is that was nice. I was not in black. I tried to force black my first game, but I lost my first game pretty badly so then I had to change my deck around and actually play an aggro deck it turns out aggro decks are the only decks I can play during pre-release so uh, overall I had a good time I did bring one of my friends from work uh, she was new to Magic the Gathering and obviously went 0-4 I went 2-2 and, and then we just went home because it was 4 5 o'clock at that time and I was like wow we're not going to finish one of the reasons we did not we were not moving very fast was because of the W E R and we had to manually do it. There's 55 players, probably about mm, seven, seven or eight of them dropped. Uh, they just got their packs and left. They got their packs, opened it and then just left. And that screwed up the W E R, which is the wizard event reporter. It's still surprising to me why they have not invested in it. And apparently, I'm my store is the store I went to, is not the only store that has issues with this program. And I, I know that in F and M sometimes we have to do it by hand, which is kind of strange. But for a larger event, it is very bad. So F and M, if it's just eight, ten people, it's probably fine. A larger event like a pre-release, which is your premier event, you would figure that they would have software, right? So we. Open packs around midnight, a little after midnight. I want to say like five or ten minutes because the packs, people were still signing up as usual. And people came in late. And the store is never going to turn down late people because it's just money. And we were opening packs. I feel like everyone had a deck by 12.45 definitely. And after 12.45, we were ready to play. But the pairings got messed up. And how did the pairings get messed up? A lot of people were paired with people who dropped and then they had to remove that and the system crashed. So it's a big day. It's a very big weekend for Magic the Gathering. And this has happened a few times at this locals at f and I don't remember if it happened last pre-release because I wasn't at, I went to Saturday pre-release and it was much smaller. They have really good products but the software that they're using for Magic the Gathering Online, as well as even Wizards of Wizards Event Reporter, is very bad. So in the first comment, get go get yourself a Gateway 2000 Pentium desktop with Windows 95, and then WER will understand exactly how it works. And that's my gut feeling, is they're running software from 2000. And I don't know why they can't make Bella software. As a developer and someone who makes software for other people, I've made less complicated software for $5,000. And event matching software or player matching software is not difficult. It's just an algorithm. And I'm sure you can even look a lot better than it currently does without crashing. I, I'm just still surprised that we are in 2017 and this event program reporter can still be as antiquated as it is. It does look like it came from 2000. Wizards of the Coast has a lot of money. They can probably use the Modern Masters money as well as the Iconic Masters money to fund a new software. I'm sure it's not going to... From my understanding of the software, probably at most ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. But if they have developers in-house anyway even less and if they have developers who fix the bugs would it be just easier to have those same developers create something new assuming they are skilled and they hire the correct people which so many developers want to work at for wizards of the coast the problem is they pay way under market value a senior developer in houston gets paid 160 how did 160,000 a year how do i know that because that's why i pay the senior developer that's what my company pays him. And I look at these 
I look at these things from Wizard of the Coast and job apps for like seventy, eighty thousand dollars in Seattle. I'm in Houston, and I can't imagine a seventy, eighty thousand dollar developer being all that good in Seattle because they're not all that good in Houston. Uh, they're not. They're maybe a mid level developer, maybe an entry level developer. Entry level developers get paid sixty here in Houston. I'm sure they get paid seventy, eighty. It is just surprising that this is such a big day. This is a system that can be applied. So if you were to do something to improve pre-release, right? I know you guys like the new graphics. You like the four-sided dice. You like the new promo cards. You like the the, the the way it looks like. The way it looks, the packaging is amazing. But can you please spend some money on the infrastructure of your software? And then from that point on, you will reap the benefits, right? No one will complain about it every single time it is quite surprising it is quite surprising that we are still using software from the 2000 17 years later and no one at wizard of coast was like hey maybe we should update this maybe we should hire a developer honestly it cannot be that difficult because it's an algorithm and i work with the google adwords api so those are unknown algorithms or I guess they're known, but they're not solid and they can change. You can have new ad types pop up and your API gets a little distressed. But I look at it and I say to myself, I just cannot imagine why we are using this software. Wizards of Coast makes enough money, they can upgrade the software. And when you upgrade it, you upgrade it for everyone. Imagine casual player sitting there with his deck wondering what's happening and because of the event reporter crashing it doesn't work and you just sit there for half an hour and that's what we did we sat there for half an hour everyone had decks and i luckily i was with my friend and she was new so i was teaching her magic so for us and it was a pokey stop so you know pokey stop and I had stuff to do, but I could see that some people were extremely bored and not very happy that we were waiting for pairings. And I mean, we waited for pairings and then pairings came up and the seven people that dropped, the TO didn't remove them. And then there was too many buys. So we had to redo pairings and that's when the system crashed. And it had to be done by like hand. I don't know if... It was done by hand the whole night because I left after the fourth round. But man, it took a long time to get going. And we were only 55, probably minus 7 or 8, maybe 45 people. So at a larger pre-release, it's kind of crazy um, that things are held up so fast. Anyway, that is my personal opinion let me know how your pre-release went. I will probably go to one Sunday afternoon, uh, today being Saturday, of course. And yeah, hopefully I can win something. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.